Uh, hi everyone, the, today I am going to give uh, some few uh, my reactions and comments on the United Nations Geneva Parliament report on the Manipur violence to key versus my type about the just burning issue in Manipur. So I just give you the comment just as a just a, a simple citizen. I will not support the Maite. I will not support the Kuki. Just let's be uh, in the middle and uh, just find out what is true and uh, what is not uh, true. So if you are not agree and just give me uh, your comments and suggestions and let's discuss. So let's part of this uh, Manipur violence and uh, let's try to solve this uh, problem and uh, let's do our part to bring peace and normalcy in this state. So let's start. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. My name is uh, Kuraizam Athoba and I am a Maitai, the so-called Maitai Hindu that people around here are uh, talking about. So as this is a platform of United Nations, uh, I think everyone has a right to know the real facts. So here, here Mr. Atoba is saying that he is a Maitai Hindu. So I just want to say that uh, Manipuri is a very uh, secular and very advanced society that uh, Manipur was once known as uh, Kanglaipa and uh, here we have different types of people here, uh, but the indigenous people is known as Maite. So around from today, around 300 years back, the Maites were converted to Hindu by a Maite king. But before that, the Maites were following a, a very indigenous religion called Sanamahi. So that is the fact that I want to say that uh, not all Manipuri citizens are not uh, Hindu, not all the Maites are not uh, uh, Maites. So around, I think around today, around the 20, 30, total population of the Maite is pure Maite, they are remaining. Others, they have converted into Hindu and the Christian Buddhism. So now you know that Maite religion the pure indigenous Maitei religion is uh, very secular and uh, we do not force anyone to remain as Maitei or to convert to any other religion. So to tell freedom to choose the religion, whatever they like. So that is the fact I want to say. And uh, about the poor uh, Kuki people, Kukis were not uh, very indigenously uh, Christian people. They have no religion. They were totally uh, Tribal, they have no religion, uh, no script, so they were totally tribal. So when the Britishers come here, they cannot uh, convert the Maitei people into Christian because they have already enough religions, Maitei religion, Hindu religion. So they went to hill areas and they converted into Christians. So that is the issue. So that is the thing I want to say. Now let's continue. And the truth that we need to address what's happening in Manipur. And I've been listening to all the uh, panel members who have been narrating the stories. And I won't narrate on rhetorics. I will come out with facts and figures and digitally proved records and data which nobody can't manipulate in any ways. So first of all, when we talk about the Hindu majority issues, we as a Maite in Manipur is not a majority. For the rest of India, it's a different case. When it comes to northeastern states of India, Maite is not a majority anymore. We represent hardly around 8.5 lakhs population. And the Christians in Manipur is around 12 lakhs. They comprise of around more than 53, 54%. Sorry, and Maite I don't is want to interrupt you, but if you could just be as short as possible, we should have three minutes for the room. No, so but if you could we need to clarify the facts because yes. If as you are narrating in the wrong context, we need to check it out. Or sh shall we go on with the wrong facts? We continue this debate and discussion. What's your intention then? We, we need to check it out. 
Number one, the religious card is never an issue in the uh, Manipur violence because Meite never targeted Christians. We have, Meite also has a Christian population of around, which is 45% of what the cookie populations are, Meite Christians. And they missed to inform that Meite churches are being completely vandalized and raised in the cookie dominated areas in Turachanpur, right on the first day before the target begin in Imphal. Okay, sir. That needs to be acknowledged. Thank you. Thank you and for here sharing. is the sequence of events. I would be grateful if we can meet after this and take the document and have the conversation. Sure. But if you don't have any let more me, questions, let I me would sum need up. to interrupt you because we have two minutes before we need to close this event. And I need to give the final word to this panel. So I need to interrupt you just because we have one more minute, uh, the lady from the United Nations. So we have to uh, basically conclude the event. Yes. Thank last, you. Last part. Thank you. Thank last question.
question. Sharing. No, no, Last we will, question. We will meet after the event. But allow me, let the audience know. Let the audience know yes. why are you? But why are we because completely we neglecting the, the issue of narco terrorism? We need to have the, the UN Odyssey has already reported. Chora Chandpur has yeah. a, become a hub of new golden triangle. Okay. Poppy cultivation has we already. We need to have the concluding remarks from the panel and conclude. The yeah, event. before that we need to know the facts. That's why I'm Th trying to intervene. You. Thank you, and we would welcome this. It's just that it's completely uh, one-sided discussion. So I, I don't want it. It should be neutral. We are we are not a one-sided discussion. Then you should I mean, have the patience to listen to me were presented thoroughly, and there's a lot that we can provide after this event. Thank you. Almost so, 19 Maite I villages. Like, I would like now. 19 to... Maite villages, completely 100% evicted, destroyed. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Can you switch off the microphone, please? So I would like us to, to finish because we just finished the time for our event and for the, uh, the time allocated to have this room. I'm grateful for the panel for having shared with us and for the, your contribution. Um, I've been following personally as the World Evangelical Alliance very closely what is happening in India and Manipur and elsewhere. I'm very grateful for uh, your, what you shared with us and what you provided. What our hope is that India would grow into a more democratic, inclusive society and community where the government is supportive and protective of all the religious minorities. Now, let's see minorities what this uh, fiduciary is saying about this uh, um, violence. And yet again, I want to appreciate the panel for being here, for sharing, and for all the members of our coalition representing uh, various communities, religious and ethnic communities, for being part of this event. And again, once again, thank you for Ms. Al Salim, and thank you also for Mr. Turkel, who were present with us and shared with us on the situation in India. Thank you so much, and until the next event, God bless you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. At 11 p.m. on May 3rd, my mother, who was 77 years old at the time, I chung with her. My sister-in-law, 13-year-old niece, five-year-old twin boy and girl, and two-year-old nephew were attacked by an evil and misguided Maite Hindu mob. They ran a few doors down to a Maite Hindu neighbor's house to hide in his dirty, dingy storehouse. There were so many mosquitoes, my mother says. The children were so good. They did not cry or make a noise. They huddled there for over three hours as mayhem continued around them. They heard the sounds of stones, sticks, rocks, cars and gas cylinders bursting into flames. Angry mobs had burnt their church, a Baptist church, earlier that evening and were attacking and burning their neighbors' houses and had turned to their house. They escaped with their lives and the clothes they were wearing while our beautiful family home- See, he's uh, just uh, telling how the mighty people are torturing and killing the Kuti people. According to her, the Kuki people were very innocent. They have no militants. They have uh, they have no armed people. So this she is really trying to uh, manipulate, to misguide the whole world. She is really wrong. The violence is uh, happen, and in the violence, Kuki people kill Maitai people, Maitai people kill Kuki people. Now, according to her, only the Maitai people are killing the Kuki people. So, her speech is really very, uh, not meaningful, very useless. She is not uh, concentrating uh, on how to bring peace and solution. So, her speech is really uh, very useless. And, uh, according, to, she, she never mentioned that there are thousands of uh, Kuki arrogant youths holding gun and they roaming around the hill areas and the neighboring areas destroying mighty villages killing innocent mighties so she she her species is really very useless very rubbish and then you know i don't like her species and uh, She, she is a, uh, I think she is a Christian. So whatever she says, 
that uh, the your people in the UN or around the world will uh, accept her, will give a sympathy to them. They could be people, Christian people are being uh, tortured, are being, uh, their lives are being destroyed. She's just trying to get the sympathy from around the world. But the whole world will know that what the cookie uh, Christian people in hill areas they are doing. They are doing a drug business. They are bringing a lot of immigrants from Myanmar. So our species I don't really like, very useless. When we speak of something, it must be on the facts. It must be based on the reality. But uh, she is not speaking about it. There is nothing reality. But she wants to say that only the Maite people are killing the cookie people. They are, we are, we Maite people are torturing the cookie people. She has not mentioned any word that there are uh, thousands of uh, cookie arrogant youths with guns, with Assam rifle. So, I think. There is no use of being a Christian when you are not doing any good work for the society, for your for yourself or for other people. So we must see that maybe uh, she is not involved in the drug business. She is very uh, innocent, but she must also find out what his uh, cookie brothers and the sisters in the remote areas, in the hill areas, what cookie militants are doing. Only then she must make a very concrete solution. And uh, here I want to add one more thing that uh, most of the cookie youths, they are unemployed. They, their main livelihood is looting from the recent highways. So looting from the vehicles, from the highways and the poppy plantation. This is the only two uh, source of their income. So I feel sympathy. I feel uh, very sympathy for them because uh, in order to stop, to set the cookie unemployed youths and their lives, what we have to do is uh, we have to give employment. We have to set up industries and other employment schemes in hill remote areas so that the people who were stashed away by the drug dealers, dealers and uh, that's uh, narco-terrorism and the militants they come back to the normal society and we give them a good job so that cookie youths can survive on their own food. Only then the cookie people will not support the drug dealers and they will stop the looting and hijacking on the nation highways. But instead of doing this uh, central government, I don't know, the government is really hopeless. Since last 20, 30 years, they have been said the government is also supporting the militancy in hill areas. They are supporting the cookie youths to, to, to take arms and continue because they are get to just in order to get votes for them. And it's really hopeless. And it's BJP government is really hopeless. They are not doing anything really to help the cookie youths, but they are supporting to win the innocent youths to misguide the youths. Their yeah, central government is just like the narco terrorism. Narco terrorism gives weapons, arms to the cookie youths, and central government is also supplying money so that they can survive. But they, central government, never act against the terrorism, the militants in the cookie dominated areas. So the government, in the name of the suspension of operation, they are supporting the cookie militants. They are misguiding the cookie youths. But instead of that, if the central government gives good jobs for all the cookie people living in the remote hill areas, there will not be such balance. Central government is really hopeless, really hopeless. So I really love this uh, cookie sister. Whatever she says, it really touches my heart. But she. Here, I find in her speech there is no uh, So that is uh, my point that she is uh, only indicating uh, some few incidents that the Maite people kill cookie people. But in this, uh, in a war, you know, even in the Russian-Ukraine war, war, 
Russian kill Ukraine, Ukraine kill Russians, that, that is a war situation. So in this violence also, Maitai will kill Kuki, Kuki will kill Maitai. So there are so many incidents. In our Maitai society also, thousands of the such incidents. But whatever she is saying is that uh, it has nothing, uh, any point or useful to bring solution in this uh, violence. Whatever she is doing is that she is trying to get sympathy and the pity uh, from international community that uh, Christian minorities are being tortured, are being uh, destroyed, uh, are being destroyed by the majority Maitai people. They want to bring, they want to convert this violence into a religious war so that they can get international. Uh, support but that is uh, quite uh, wrong the Maitis are never against the christian people many nagas are christians but uh, they are not uh, we are not doing anything harm to them we are those uh, we are against those people who are trying who are doing the drug business and uh, who are willing to make a separate state from the manipur and uh, we are those people who are against the law and we are those people we are those people who are bringing illegal immigrants into the indian soil so i i really uh, feel sorry to her some few incidents about uh, that happened in her village in her life in her relatives so, about the killing, about the unfortunate such killings, thousands of incidents happen among the Kuki people and to the Maitai people also. But what is the best thing that we we need to at this moment is that we we need to bring uh, a conclusion to this communal violence. We have to find out why Kuki people want separate state. Because uh, they they have been living here in the Manipur uh, since last 100, 200 years. But while the Maitai people are Maitai and Naga people are here in this uh, in this region many 2,000, 3,000 years back. So that is the point we have to find out. Why the Kuki, the new and late comers, they are from last 100, 200 years. They want to make a separate state. Why? Is it that they want to do their drug business freely without any interference from any other community? So that is the thing we have to find out. And uh, here I, I remember one point that most of the cookie uh, people among the youths, around 80% of cookie youths are unemployed. They are extremely poor. Extremely, extremely poor. So in order to leave, in order to make some tablets themselves uh, to get some money, they will do whatever somebody says. So, drug laws, drug kingpins, these people, they say, you took arm, protect our puppy, protect our puppy farm, farms, and do our puppy plantation in our puppy plantation farms. You will get money, you do that. That Kuki youths do that. Kuki people support that because government of Manipur and the government of India, they are not doing nothing to give jobs to the jobless youths in Manipur, in hill areas. So that is why. So and ultimately, after 20, 30 years, the Kuki people and the Kuki youths thought that drug business is the only business that they will become. Lakhpati, Karolpati, millionaires. There are so many cookie families. They have become millionaires because they are doing drug business. So cookie people's only hope their future is the drug business. Drug, drug, drug. Because there is a huge demand of drugs worldwide. Even in mainland, mainland India, in Mumbai, Punjab, Delhi, Kolkata, many bureaucrats, many politicians, they are demanding huge amount of drugs. And if Manipuri people, they can give them, they become lakhpati karopati in a moment. So that is the thing. 
That is why many politicians are supporting the cookie people. So, it's just if we want to stop this uh, balance not to happen in the future, we have to give good jobs to the cookie people. Only then we can stop this balance. That is the only future. Otherwise, there is no hope. No hope. The balance will be going on for hundreds and thousands of years in future. So we have to need, we have to change our politicians. We have to change uh, the outlook. Why cookie people are against this by the people? So let's see. We ask for a lot, right? self-determination and self-governance without fear of mob vigilantism or discrimination and attacks. So, the she is uh, really selected by, she is a very uh, intelligent and she knows how to get sympathy and pity from other community. The thing is that uh, she is really uh, selected and trained by drug lords. The drug lords, they are very powerful, they have a nexus everywhere. They may be, there may be some UN also, there may be uh, many sympathizers and drug dealers also in UNO. And uh, that is uh, why they are sending a woman in the UNO and uh, they want to get a sympathy from the world. She doesn't mention any point that there are cookie militants are there. Cookie militants are killing innocent Maite people. She never mentioned any point. She is really escaping from the reality. So, what about, but in every war in Mahabharata or anywhere in the world, in any world, the success will be for the right people, for the truth. So, those people who are against the drugs, who are against the poppy plantation, and uh, those people who wants to keep the law and order of land, they will succeed at the end. And nobody else will succeed. Whatever the power, whatever the money they may be having, they may be very powerful, but if they are doing something wrong, if they are making communal balance, if they are killing innocent people, if they are giving bribes to media and bribes to UNO, bribes to central leaders, they all will fail because truth will shine at the end. So that is uh, my suggestion and let's see uh, what happens in the future. And this is my command and if I, if I said, if I supported any side, if I, did, if I said something wrong, you just give in the comments and let's see. Let's try to discuss on the show. Thank you very much.